Hello everyone. Welcome back to yet another wonderful session on geography of tourism. Today we are going to see the most important elements of map reading. You know that maps are very essential parts of a tourism process from its very beginning to the end. So it is very important to know how to read a map effectively. Different elements of a map play an important role in describing map details. These essential features of a map are found on almost every map around us. They are title, scale, grid, direction, legend or symbols etc which make it easier for people like us to understand the basic components of maps. The title of a map is one of its vital features. It is the key word that grabs the reader's attention. The need for a suitable title whether small or long depends on the reader but the title should provide an answer to their what where and when the title represents the name of the region depicted which provide an answer to the reader's question where and also it represents the theme of the map which is the answer to their question what and when for example the title of the given map is india political Here India represents the name of the region and political is the theme of the map. What is the title of this map? Yes, it is India Population Density 2001. Can you say which region is depicted on the map? Can't say. It is not easy for us to recognize a place which is strange to us without a title. Now it is easy for us to say that it is Karnataka one of the states in India. The second most important element of a map is scale. Maps are drawings which reduce the entire world or a part of it to be fit on a sheet of paper. Or we can say maps are drawn to reduced scales. But this reduction is done very carefully so that the distance between the places is real. It can only be possible when a small distance on paper represents a large distance on the ground. Therefore, a scale is chosen for this purpose. So, a scale can be defined as a ratio of distance between two places on map and the distance between same two places on the ground. For example, the distance between our college and your home is 10 km. If you show this 10 km distance by 5 cm on a map, it means 1 cm on the map will show 2 km on the ground. The actual distance is 10 km. The map distance is 5 cm and so the scale of the map will be 1 cm on the map represents 2 km on the ground now let's have a look into the various methods of representing the scale three main methods are used to represent the scale on a map the first one is statement scale second one is representative fraction and the third method is graphical scale first one is statement scale The scale indicator in the form of a written statement is known as statement scale. Here the example given is 1 cm represents 100 m. It is in the form of a written statement. This is the simplest of the three methods. The second one is representative fraction. Here the scale is given in the form of a ratio or fraction. Here it is given that 1 is to 1000 as example. One unit on the map represents 1000 of the same units on the ground. These units may be any measure, centimeter or inches. So, everyone in the world can use it regardless of language or the units of measurement in their country. The third type of scale is graphical scale. It is the representation of scale by means of a line bar with primary and secondary divisions marked on it. 
the graphical scale stands valid even when the map is reduced or enlarged this is the unique advantage of graphical method of the map scale here in this map of kerala the scale is given in the form of a line bar that is graphical scale then grid system a grid system on a map is usually square and is represented by drawn lines on the map creating those squares it is a set of vertical lines or longitudes and horizontal lines or latitudes the purpose of the grid system is to give each point in the map an identifier and address by which we can refer to it by that is the grid system is used mainly to locate places next element of a map is direction it is angular distance from observer's position to any place on the map with respect to north it can be ex expressed as north south east and west and these points are known as cardinal points the next element of a map is legend or key it is a set of colors symbols or shading patterns used to depict ground features on the map it is a visual explanation of the symbols used on the map so these are the major elements of a map title direction legend grid and scale here is your exercise question take the screenshot of this page and mark the elements of a map on it exercise number 2 take the screenshot of this page 2 and mark the elements on it is there any grid system on this map comment your answer on the chat box that's all for now i hope you had a nice learning experience thank you and have a great day